Staying this shredded has literally ruined any chance I had of And boom, there we go, that is a wrap. Another workout in the book. Spot the dry patch, but that is that, finito. It's a late one, but we're still ticking the boxes. So yes, welcome to a new video. Hopefully you enjoy this one. It's gonna be a bit of an update, and then also covering the main topic in that, although being shredded might get you more Instagram likes, in reality, it actually sucks. So yes, if you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get started. What follows is a brief construction montage. Okay, so here we go. Let's not beat around the bush. If you have been watching my previous videos, highly recommend you do, otherwise this might not make sense. You know there was like a lot going on, okay? We had my dad's birthday gift hunt, we had the new gym bag, we had my hormone testing, and of course we had the release of my new program. So this is just gonna be like an update to keep you in the loop and just of course go over the results of my hormone test. So the first update is gonna be ah, my gym bag, the old trusty fair trade little gym bag which hasn't been used once because we are in lockdown so yes the idea is to still go to roll when it opens but we are ticking by very nicely in the home gym for now so yes that is update number one update number two oh god my training programs okay you know i was designing or coming up with new training programs for you all pre-covid flashback Yes, a lot of you have actually been asking me about my split and whether I'm going to make like programs, once off purchase programs. Yes. Okay, look, there's been a lot of volume research that has come out in the past few months. And along with the demand for knowing what my split is, your boy has been busy. End of flashback. But when COVID hit, I knew all the gyms would be closed. So there was no point in me pursuing that. So I shift my focus to something else something with a load of food and recipes okay so that as you know has been in the mix uh, like for ages now i've been experimenting with different recipes and stuff and actually speaking of recipes we are currently cooking up a fresh batch of protein cookies so they probably need another like five or ten minutes but yes they are coming out very very nicely so pop those back in but yes, essentially the recipe book took over my training programs, okay? And it's nearly done, it's in the hands of my graphic designer. And as of today, I got a message saying that he's done 200 pages of it. Yes, 200, okay? So he's nearly done, but yes, this is gonna be game changing. But nonetheless, next little update. Ah! We got a package this morning and you probably don't really care, but some of you do. So let's add a bit more content to the video. It sort of ties in nicely with the whole baking thing, but yes, we placed another order. Oh my God. It was like buy one, get one free on uh, flavor drops. We go through these like mad experimenting with different recipes. So yes, we have the white chocolate ones and the toffee ones. By far the two best flavors. Isn't life so exciting? This is literally like the highlight of my week. But anyway, okay, let's dive into the main topic of this video. Oh! My hormone results, okay? So if you've been watching along the previous videos, I did actually get uh, my hormones tested, in particular my testosterone with Let's Get Checked, okay? So again, the link will be down below. They do a load of like metabolic testing, okay? And even like COVID testing, super quick. So if you need to travel or need like a COVID test, go check them out in the link down below. But yes, I actually recorded when I was taking all my samples way back when. So let's flash back to that and see how it went. Flashback. Okay, so here we go. We are about to take the test. I am just up. I am very, very tired. But nonetheless, as you know, this video is sponsored by Let's Get Checked. So seriously, do uh, go have a look down below and check out their link because you can test out all of the metabolic hormones and stuff like that. To be honest, I'll probably go check out like my thyroid and cortisol after this. So yes, you will get a huge uh, discount as well. So yeah, check that out. Link will be down below. But we have the kit ready to go. And you see this mustache here. This is why I have left it because this has taken about literally a month and a half to grow. And that is sort of leading on to my prediction in that my testosterone is gonna be very, very low, okay? And this is sort of backed by the science. So firstly, I am extremely lean, probably too lean. And as- Whoa, 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 okay, stop right there, Scotty. Even with all the editing, as best I could, this next section, I went way overboard because you know me, that's how I go. So literally, it is like a 10 to 12 minute section of all of the science about the variables that I have that I thought would contribute to having low testosterone. But I know most of you wouldn't really care about that. So I have linked it down below instead in a little bit of a blog. And for now, let's get back to the video and make it a little bit shorter than half an hour. 
Yes, that is sort of why I am literally thinking that these results could be pretty low and it might actually be a little bit of a shock to the system. But here we go. As you saw in the last video, they send you out everything, so it's super convenient. So again, go check them out. But apparently we have to fill this whole thing up with blood from like my fourth finger or something. So here we go. We have the little pricker and then we have the sterile wipe. So we have to clean my finger first. Here we go. So it is apparently the fourth finger on my non-dominant hand that we have to prep. So there we go. Wiping it clean, ready to get all the testosterone. <laughs> <laughs> Then we have the pricker things. Of course, they send out like multiple because they already know potatoes like me are probably gonna mess up first time. So we undo it like so. Oh my days. Here we go. We get the blue jail at the ready. Again, there's a lot of blood needed for this just for testosterone. And now if you are squeamish, then look away now. But apparently we just do this. Oh my God, this could hurt. I don't know what to expect, guys. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, there's the blood. Where's my bottle? Let's squeeze out. Oh my God, this is gonna take forever. This is literally gonna take all day. Ah! It's been like five minutes and I still haven't got one drop. Many unbearable hours later. Okay, we have a bit of a problem. There is no way I was gonna get up to that line. It's been like over an hour and we've gone through like four fingers. Again, I've seen other people struggle to get enough blood. So yeah, hopefully that's gonna do. I sent them an email, so they might even send me out another kit in the meantime. So yeah, we're gonna package all this up and go to the post office. But rest assured people, I will get the results for this test, okay? Whether they decline it and I have to do the test again and upload the video one week later, we'll do that. But we're at the Off We Gone Push. We're gonna get a sticker for this bad boy. And this is another update I wanted to do for you guys because I have something very, very exciting. So I hope this works. Oh, oh yes, baby. This is what I've been looking forward to for literally like two weeks now. Oh, it wish it could be Christmas every day. Oh, baby. Okay, Eon or Aeon, sorry if I'm butchering your name. Essentially, an online client reached out and said, Scott, look, you're killing it in terms of coaching. Let me send you some cereal from America. And this is the box he sent me. Apparently, there's like 12 boxes of cereal in here. So, Eon, you are literally the goat. <laughs> I love my clients. <coughs> so, here we go. We're going to open it up now. I am not waiting till I get home. I am so excited, guys. I know I'm sad, but cereal is the key to my heart. Ah, I need my carbohydrates. Here we go. <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew. And they called it puppy. Yes, people, look at that. Oh my days. Okay, calm down, calm down. We, oh my God, that is a jumbo box. Family size of Golden Grahams. Never tried these ones before, but oh my God, they look so good. Two of them. Then, oh baby, we got the churros. Oh my God, never tried these. Again, family size. Clearly, Aeon, you know me well. You actually bought pretty much family size everything because you know I eat for an entire family when it comes to cereal. Oh my God, these look so good. Look at those bad boys. Comment down below, have you tried them? Next, I have had these ones before. Again, these boxes are huge. Look at the size of them. These are key for volume. The honeycomb ones, you sort of mix and match them and they are really good. They're like a honey puff, but just bigger and more puffier. Then another jumbo family size box. You are the goat of literally, this is my second favorite cereal. You did ask which ones I wanted. And I did send you a list, literally expecting one, but you got me all of them, man. Seriously, okay? I cannot appreciate you anymore. And if anyone else wants to send me cereal, then I will definitely accept it. But yes, the French Toast Crunch. So there we go, five boxes of cereal. And you already know, this is my second favorite one. So what's my first favorite one? <laughs> S'mores! Not only one, not two, not three, not four, but five boxes of s'mores cereal. Oh my god, this is my life complete. Seriously, Aeon, you have made me super, super happy. So I am so looking forward to them. Again, trying out these and the Golden Grahams as well and just having enough cereal for two days. <laughs> no, seriously, enough cereal for like, 
I don't know, like three months. So thank you so, so much, Aeon. Again, that is my little update. And yeah, the next clip is probably gonna be me back in my kitchen live, hopefully with some test results and without a creeper mustache. So again, thank you. I'm a happy man. End of flashback. Okay, so we are back and the creeper mustache has been eliminated, okay, but the hair could definitely do with a chop So hopefully I'll get that sorted for the next video But yes, since recording that clip Aeon, I can confirm we have gone through one s'mores box and one graham cracker box Both very very good and I am saving these for the pièce de résistance But anyway, back to the old hormone testing, okay? We actually got rejected, of course, because realistically there was like a tiny little little bit <laughs> of blood in that thing. So yes, we had to get a second test. So let's flash back to that because after all I did record. Flashback. Okay, here we go. I might as well include this. We are telling a story after all. And yes, I know I look like shit, but of course my first sample was rejected and we got a new Pekoshta sent out to us. So apparently the trick is to like get warm, have a warm shower, which is exactly what we have done. So we're gonna go for the second attempt. <laughs> We have all the bits and bobs, so here we go. We get one of our little prickers. Boop. So we have the pricker and the tub, and you know what? You are gonna find out if we get enough blood in this little tub in three, two, one. Guys, I think there is something wrong with me, and I'm not gonna waste any more time. It's been like 20 minutes. We've gone through two prickers, and this is literally all I've got. Okay, so I'm not gonna go through it all again. I will get the sample. I'm thinking I'm either gonna wait until I like cut myself by accident when I'm making like a vegetable bowl or something. <laughs> or I get like a nosebleed during my workout and I can just go like <laughs> and pour it all into there. Anyway, while I'm here, I thought I would include this as well. We did actually come home to a package of the skinny syrups earlier on today. So, oh my God, this is what we got. We have three of their new barista syrups for like coffee and like ice cream and stuff like that. So we have the English toffee and then we have the salted caramel. And this one here is gonna be interesting. The caramel biscuit. And then of course we have the syrups. There was an offer on the syrup. So we have the toasted marshmallow. Two of those in fact, because you know, it's the goat. Ah! Speaking of the goat, we have the goat numero due. We have the custard flavor. So yes, two of those. A billionaire shortbread because this one is actually pretty good as well, but not worthy of two. And then you got this one free in the Pekoshta. It is a chocolate fudge cake. So again, I have never tried this one, or have I? I'm not sure, but nonetheless, all of this will be linked down below as per usual. Again, these are actually gonna be super, super interesting. I think I've heard really good things about them. So yes, that is that. Now the next clip, oh please. Let me have got some blood out of my finger or just out of my body, okay? The next clip is gonna be me with the final results of this goddamn hormone test. End of flashback. Okay, so we are back once again. And now actually, I'm not gonna lie, the second one also got rejected and we had to do a third kit. So again, please like the video. That explains the delay in this sort of update. But yes, okay, let's give you a bit of perspective first, okay? So according to a study of 9,000 men by Travis and et al. 2017, normal test levels range between 264 and 916 nanograms per deciliter. However, as you can imagine, the higher the level, probably the better, especially as a bodybuilder looking to gain muscle, okay, and to maximize performance. So here we go, the moment of truth, my results. Comment down below, pause the video now. What do you think, are they low or high? Well, on the screen, you will see that my results came in pretty damn low in at 5.1 nanomoles per liter, which with one quick Google calculator equates to 147.0942 nanograms per deciliter. Okay, so that pretty much is well down in the lower range and maybe actually explains why I'm pathetically small, can't grow facial hair for my life. But seriously, this has come to no real surprise, okay? And probably as a result of my lifestyle and also staying too lean, okay? Predominantly staying too lean and maybe sleep as well being the main two, okay? I have actually sort of maintained my leaner physique. I haven't gained the weight back that I lost during quarantine. And I am actually very, very lean at the moment, okay? Probably leaner than I have to be. And it is sort of taken its impact. I know a lot of people won't be open with you, but I am 100% real with you. My overall mood, maybe it's just quarantine or something, has actually gone down as of late. My libido, <laughs> 
that's not even going to that. My strength and performance, uh, yeah, that's sort of gone down. And all of the other sort of factors linked to low testosterone and being overly lean are starting to impact me. And it's really impairing my quality of life, okay? So overall, I do sort of want to gain back the weight, get a little fluffier. So if you see these cheeks turn into Mr. Oval Face, then please put up with me, but yes. Okay, so realistically, the message of this video is staying shredded is not conducive to overall health. You will have all these metabolic adaptations. Your overall food focus will increase your hunger, will increase your sleep, will go to shit your libido. Yeah, like I said, you'll be thinking more about oats than going to bang your girlfriend or boyfriend. <laughs> all of which are slightly starting to impact me, okay? It's not too bad at the moment, but I don't want it to get any worse, okay? And I like to say that I have the discipline to be able to fight this off, you know, I've been doing it for a while, but realistically, I don't need to be this lean. I don't need to sort of continue on the lifestyle. I can actually sort all those factors out. So yes, I might get another retest in the future, but I've just been so focused on trying to grow this YouTube channel, uh, which actually I really need to say thank you for the recent growth. It has been just mind blowing and really motivating to like pump out more videos. So yes, that is the final update on the testosterone kit. There is one more update, but first, I think based off the smell of the kishti, oh yes, they have come out very, very nice. The cookies are done, so they are lovely and golden. Again, high in protein, they're pretty much just under like 50 calories, but the size of them compared to like any other cookie is far bigger, so we're gonna let them cool down. Well, we come to the motherland to bang out the steps and also pick up something for dinner. But yes, another thing I didn't say was when I was speaking to the nurse from Let's Get Checked, she said that like if my levels were still low, when the second test comes back, I might actually have to go on TRT. So your boy might actually be going on steroids and I might actually turn into Ronnie Coleman. <laughs> and also my mom might actually be convinced. How many times have I said actually? And look at this, the bakery smells so good i am getting sidetracked my mum might actually be convinced on getting a dog for christmas okay a nice little sort of dash hound and we're thinking of calling him either sergi or max so comment below which do you prefer anyway the first thing we're gonna pick up for dinner is a big thing of strawberries then i have been on a turkey burger kick and these are 30 percent off there's like six packets they are so so good so we're probably gonna pick up all of those and finally a whole tub of raspberry sky and look at this people completely sidetracked but Will we get Sergi or Max one of these if we do get one? <laughs> Dog water fountain. That looks pretty good, actually. Oh my god, there's more things over here, like a pet teepee. That could be perfect. A cat travel home, we could put him in there. A pet lounger. I swear, if we do end up getting him, he will literally just be spoiled. I will get him, like, all the unnecessary <laughs> items and gadgets. But nonetheless, that is a wrap. Let's get to dinner. Yes, people, you probably didn't guess it, but we are actually having the oat cake of peas for dinner. So we're gonna top it with the whole thing of strawberries, the yogurt, and then we're gonna have four of the cookies, save the other four for like the macro capper. So that is that, perfetto. And let's appreciate the absolute volume of the oat cake of peas. And yes, that will be in the recipe book. But if you've watched this far, you probably care what's going on in my life or just like my content. So there is one final update we have missed out on, and that is, of course, giving my dad his birthday present. So I did record when I gave it to him and I got his reaction. So let's flash back to that through a transition through a cookie. Okay, here we go. Flash from the past. So I have no idea when you're going to see this, but dad is downstairs and we're going to wrap up his present. So this came out beautifully. Look at this, the Irish jersey. And it's pretty much the whole first team signed it there. And we're going to pop that into the frame and then hopefully he'll like it. So yeah, the first thing we need to do is pop that in there. And there we go. That is the best job a potato can do. The only thing that's annoying me is it's not fully centered. We can always change it afterwards. But the next problem is we don't have any wrapping paper. So I think I'm actually gonna have to go to the attic to get him some like Christmas paper. There we go. We hooked that up like so. And then we push this down. Ah, God. Ah, the perfect. And on the light. Up we go into the attic. Oh baby. <laughs> So much shit is up here. Oh my God, it's an absolute kip. All my old toys, we have golf clubs, but we have hit the jackpot. We have Christmas paper, and I don't know, actually, there might be some which doesn't have like Santa Claus on it. Okay, so there we go. You know what? He's just gonna have to make do with the Santa Claus one. They're all pretty much Christmas themed, so there's no real way around that. That can go back in there. That, and here we go. To be honest, I wasn't actually thinking about it, but green does match the green, so it works out pretty well. So here we go. 
Oh my days, that was an absolute workout. I am dripping in sweat. We had to like make up our own huge sheet because it was too big, but I am pretty impressed with my job. So the final thing to do, I guess, is to see his reaction. Okay, here we go. Papa Murray, the moment of truth. We have Mama Murray snacking on some olives and some crisps, but here we go. Thanks, <laughs> Christmas paper. Oh, beautiful. Flip it over. Shit. What the hell? What sort of claim is that? Jesus. I know people in the Leinster and Ireland community. <laughs> Jesus. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Holy shamba lambo. <laughs> the whole team. Yeah, the whole first team. Oh my god. <laughs> and now you're a madman. It is the full team. I didn't just squiggle on it. <laughs> How the hell did you find that? No way. Yeah, and then he sent it back to me. Well, that was in boot camp. I'm joking. In boot camp. Like he actually did that. Yeah, and he got the whole team to sign. Jesus. Serious? <laughs> yeah. Jesus. That's very. Oh, I'm crying, nearly. Crying. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I Jesus. knew you'd like it. Jesus. Oh, that's fucking legend present. Anyway, to wrap up the video, Papa Murray is happy, so give very us a transition nice. to whatever the next. Crying. <laughs> He's nearly crying. crying. Oh, okay. Crying. Give us a transition oh, to what whatever to the next clip's gonna oh. be. Just hit the camera. Point of ear. With the point of ear. And there it is in all its glory on the stairs, of course, by my graduation picture and a caricature of me. Let's actually see. Look at the cheat. <laughs> And that is going to be the end of this video. Again, a slightly different one, but hopefully you still enjoyed it or gained some value and entertainment. And again, thank you all so, so much for the support. The goal is to keep pumping out videos. The recipe series will continue and I'm going to try to get two videos in a week or at least over like a seven to 10 day period. And yeah, overall, just thank you all so, so much. The support has really meant the world. And stay tuned for the recipe book and good content coming soon. Hope you all have a good day and see you all in the next video. Boop.